Hello and welcome dear students. This is the term wise syllabus released by the CBSC for the subject English code, subject code 301 for grade 11 for the academic year 2021 to 2022. The CBSC has brought out new regulation, uh, regulations pertaining to the examinations. The grade 11 internal examinations will be held in two parts. That is um, term 1 examination which may take place by November and December and term 2 examinations which will take place by February or March. For that the CBSC has divided or bifurcated the portion which will be tested during the examination. The term 1 examination will be a 90 marks uh, paper based on MCQs only whereas term 2 examination will be based on MCQs and subjective questions. Now let us begin with the term 1 portion. Term 1 portion is in this column section A B, C, it is listed here. Term 1 portion is listed here. The weightage in marks is listed over here. Term 2 is listed on the other side. I will first read term 1 for you and then read the term 2 portion. So pay attention to term 1 only at the moment. Term 1 portion for section A, we have the reading comprehension. Unseen pa passage includes a factual or a descriptive or literary discursive or persuasive passage and uh, uh, the second passage is based on case study so case based unseen factual passage the mark breakup between the two is eight marks and five marks altogether the marks adds up to the marks add up to 13 marks then we have the creative writing skills and grammar in the creative writing skills we have the short writing tasks that is notice writing specifically the board has brought about notice writing which is for three marks then for the long writing tasks the cbsc has selected business or official letters making inquiries registering complaints, asking for or giving information, placing orders and sending replies. The marks are 5 marks. Any one will be asked. Then we have speech writing. This is also a part of the long writing. So any one will be asked for 5 marks. Uh, then we have grammar. Grammar is just for 4 marks and the grammar includes determiners, tenses, reordering of tenses. Remember for the senior classes, tenses means the uh, sequence of tenses in complex sentences. Reordering of sentences and together this grammar is for 4 marks. And the type of question, question typology will be MCQ or, or gap filling, transformation of sentences. That means change, change or interchange sentences from one form to the other. Now when we add up it is, this section adds up to 12 marks. Now coming to the literature that is the scene. This was all unseen. Coming to the scene, that is literature, to base, uh, based questions, literary, prose, poetry, extracts, scene texts, comprehension and appreciation. Two extracts will be given out of that. The questions will be based given given on uh, based on the extracts. Those are annotations. Questions based on text to assess comprehension and appreciation, analysis, inference and extrapolation. Extrapolation means your opinion or outside the text or in uh, generalization. 
so the skills which will be tested are appreciation analysis inference and extrapolation the textbooks from which the lessons have been selected are hornbill the lessons are the prose are the portrait of a lady it's a prose a photograph it's a pro poem we are not afraid to die if we can all be together it's a prose discovering tooth the saga continues the laburnum top it's a poem landscape of the soul it's a prose then we have the supplementary reader that is the snapshots the summer of the beautiful white horse it's a prose the address is a prose and ranga's marriage is also a prose the total marks for literature adds up to 15 in total and when we add up all the three sections the weightage adds up to 40 percent weightage and the assessment for speaking and listening adds up to 10 marks where you your e-portfolio inclusive of all the internal work adds up to 10 so 40 plus 10 is 50 marks which is for term 1 the book that is prescribed is hornbill English reader prescribed uh, published by the National Council of Education and Research and Training by New Delhi the snapshot supplementary reader published by National Council of Education and Research and Training New Delhi now let us see the term two portion so you have a very clear idea of what grammar and what topics are uh, demarcated you may have studied certain topics earlier now let us also draw a comparison between the similarity and uh, the differences and establish the differences rather term 2 reading comprehension unseen passage factual descriptive and literary discuss discursive or persuasive passages unseen passage for note writing and summarizing now you can see the difference over here initially we have the case based studies case based studies are actually passages and tabulated information is given so we need to combine and use that information whereas uh, note making is and summarizing is has been given to or, or has been taken forward to term two so it will be assessed in term two total marks are eight plus five that is 13 marks altogether for term two now creative writing and grammar you can see that short writing task posters are for three marks or poster designing is for three marks rather long writing task that is official letters example to school college authorities regarding admissions school issues requirements suitability of courses and long writing also includes a debate that is speech writing this comprises of five marks so together we have five plus three eight so far for grammar we have determiners determiners has quite a number of categories and uh, we have determiners in term two also then we have tenses tenses also in term two reordering of sentences reordering of sentences in term two as well so uh, this comprises of four marks altogether the section adds up to 12 marks and the question typologies mcqs on gap filling transformation of sentences then from the scene uh, uh, books that is literature nine marks are for hornbill and uh, six marks for snapshots altogether 15 marks that same applies the breakup applies to the first term. now let us see the difference and understand how it is uh, it has been brought uh, the changes have been brought about questions based on extracts text and assess comprehension and appreciation analysis inference and extrapolation now over here subjective questions extracts of text will be given over here it is for sure two extracts will be given over here it is just mentioned in general so kindly make a note of that subjective questions will be asked in term two so most probably uh, the subjective questions will be in focus 
then from hornbill the lessons which are included the voice of the rain that's a poem the ailing planet planet the green moments movements uh, role that is a prose the browning version it's a play childhood poem and silk road it's a prose from snapshots uh, we have albert einstein at school it's a prose mother's day is a play and birth is a prose the weightage is um, 40 marks for the written paper and 10 marks for assessment of speaking and listening over here um, the assessment of the notebook or e-portfolio is also in the inclusive that is internal marks that is 10 marks altogether it adds up to 40 plus 10 that is 50 so you can see the weightage the de the demarcation of 50 marks for term 1 and 50 marks for term 2 with this we have come to the end of uh, the syllabus uh, for term 1 and term 2 released by the CBSE for ASL guidelines kindly watch the separate video which will be uploaded shortly